Hello guys, welcome back to Bike Geek. If you're using an AMD Radeon graphics card, this video is a must watch for you. In this video, I will show you how to fully optimize the AMD Radeon software to unlock better performance, smoother gameplay, and the best possible experience from your GPU. So make sure to watch till the end and get the most out of your AMD graphics card. To open the AMD software, simply right click anywhere on your desktop. From the context menu, you'll see an option called AMD Software Adrenaline Edition. Go ahead and click on it to launch the software. Once the dashboard opens, the very first thing I recommend is to make sure your AMD Radeon software is fully up to date. Keeping it updated ensures your hardware performs optimally and gives you access to the latest features, improvements and security patches. On the right hand side of the dashboard, you'll see a section called Driver and Software. Click on check for updates to see if there's a new version available. In my case, the software is already up to date, so no update is needed. However, if an update is available on your system, make sure to download and install it to ensure you're getting the best performance and latest features. Once the update finishes and you're running the latest version, the next step is to clear the cache that's been accumulated from previously played games. Now, clearing the shader cache can help resolve issues like stuttering and low frame rates during gameplay. To do this, go to the top menu in the AMD software and click on Gaming, then select Graphics. Scroll down and click on Advanced Settings. At the very bottom, you'll find the option Reset Shader Cache. Click on Perform Reset, then confirm by clicking OK. This will clear out old cached data and potentially improve performance in your games. Next, let's move on to Display Optimization. Click on the Display tab. At the top, you'll see an option called AMD Free Sync. On some systems, this feature is supported, while on others, it might not be. If it's available for you, go ahead and enable it. Enabling FreeSync helps reduce screen tearing and stuttering caused by mismatched refresh rates between your monitor and GPU. Moving down, you'll see Virtual Super Resolution. I recommend keeping this disabled as it forces games to render at a higher resolution than your display supports, which can reduce performance unnecessarily. GPU scaling should be enabled to ensure the correct aspect ratio is maintained when playing older or lower resolution games. Next is integer scaling. This feature scales low resolution images cleanly by enlarging pixels in a way that maintains image clarity. If it's disabled, try enabling it to see if it improves visual quality in your games. If it doesn't help, you can easily come back and turn it off. Under color depth, select 8 BPC from the drop down menu to ensure the best compatibility and performance. Leave the pixel format set to default as changing it may lead to inconsistent results depending on your display. Finally, scroll to custom color and enable it. This allows you to tweak your display settings such as brightness, contrast and hue. If you find your screen is a bit dull, increase the saturation slightly for a more vibrant and immersive gaming experience. That wraps up the display settings section. Now let's move on to one of the most important areas, the graphics settings. Start by clicking on the graphics tab from the top menu. Here you'll see several profiles like performance, quality, power saving, default and custom. The default setting simply follows the standard configuration of your PC or monitor. The power saving profile minimizes power usage and heat generation, but it comes at the cost of reduced performance, which isn't ideal for gaming. If you're aiming for smoother and better gameplay, it's best to select the performance profile. At the top of the graphics section, look for an option called Radeon Super Resolution. If it's available on your system, go ahead and enable it. This feature is designed to boost FPS while maintaining image clarity. Next, enable Radeon Anti-Lag, which helps reduce input lag and delivers a more responsive gaming experience. Leave Radeon Chill and Radeon Boost disabled, as they can sometimes cause inconsistent performance. If Radeon Image Sharpening is available and you're not using Super Resolution, you can enable it and set the sharpness to around 80 or 85% for crisper visuals. However, 
If super resolution is already turned on, it's better to leave this setting disabled to avoid over-processing. Make sure to also enable Radian Enhanced Sync, which helps stabilize frame rates and reduce screen tearing without the high input lag associated with traditional V-Sync. Now click on the advanced option. Here, turn on frame rate target control. Set the maximum FPS just below your monitor's refresh rate. Most monitors support up to 60 Hz, so you can safely set it to 60 FPS. However, if your monitor supports a higher refresh rate, like 75 Hz, 120 Hz, or 120 Hz, or 144 Hz, you can increase the FPS limit accordingly, ideally setting it one frame below the maximum supported rate for optimal performance and smooth visuals. Next, configure the anti-aliasing settings. Set anti-aliasing to use application settings and the anti-aliasing method to multi-sampling. Disable morphological anti-aliasing and anisotropic filtering. For texture filtering quality, choose performance. You can try high if you have a powerful GPU, but performance is ideal for smoother frame rates. Set tessellation mode to AMD optimized and leave the rest of the settings as they are. Once you've applied all these changes, restart your computer to let everything take effect. After the reboot, launch your favorite game and check for improvements. You should notice better FPS, reduced stuttering and overall smoother gameplay. That wraps up our AMD Radeon Software Optimization Guide. I hope these settings help you unlock better performance, smoother gameplay and an overall enhanced gaming experience. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Byte Geek for more tech tips and let me know in the comments how these changes worked for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.